Yeah, Felipe, how tough was it? You know, that's a guy with a backup quarterback there. The quarterback goes down and got to go right in. How tough was that for you today? Yeah, I mean, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it was it was obviously an unexpected situation, and, and um, I tried to take you know advantage of it. It was good, and I'm grateful to get those those extra reps right there. Um, and I just try to take it as a learning experience and keep growing, become the best quarterback I can become. Um, but right there, you know, just kind of like you said, just really, you just, I guess, always need to be ready, especially in the backup position. Um, and then, you know, it, it was good. We put a couple of good drives together there towards the middle of the game, end of the game. Um, but really just, you know, not hurting ourselves, and it starts with me. And, uh, you know, we'll do a good, better job of that, cleaning those mistakes up for next week, just continuing to get better, stack good days on top of good days. Yeah, how did you assess your overall play today? Uh, you know what? I have to go back and look at the film. Um, it, it's hard for me to sit there and, and think back on it right now. Um, I got to go back and look at the film. You know, I thought that offensively, collectively, I thought we there was good plays. Obviously, I put us in a bad situation when I threw an interception, but there was bad plays. Um, and then really just, you know, learn from those, learn from the good and the bad, and then just stacking them going into next week. So. And if, uh, I mean, it's two games, but, you know, the job of backup quarterback to take, could he get us through a game? Are you sure you could get him through a game if something happens? I do. I do. I've, I've had full confidence in myself. Um, I feel like I'm starting to gain confidence in some of the, uh, the, the group around me. And uh, just continue to go out there and put my head down and work, man. That's all it's about. Uh, just learning from your mistakes. Kind of use everything as a, a learning experiment. Um, and you know, that, that's pretty much my mindset on anything. So I do. I do feel like I have the capability to go do that. On the pass on the three yard line, you feel you have, you have touch down there or plant left open? Uh, you know, I got to go back and look at it. Uh, I thought the line on that play did a good job. Um, you know. Getting protection. I try to get the ball out of my hands quick. You know, it's a bang bang play right there. I, I couldn't even see it. I'll go back and look at it. But I thought overall it was a good, good call offensively. I thought we executed pretty good. Obviously not the way that we wanted to, but um, you know, I have to go back and look at it. So. And on the safety, uh, did somebody flash to make you hold that a little bit? It looked like you get ready to rip it, and then you, you know, what was happening there on that play? Yeah, um, man, it was. Uh, you know, it was a developing play, and you know, maybe I, hang, I held on to it too long. Could have got the ball out of my hands. Um, you know, that's something that I just I, I got to continue to work on. I got to continue to, um, and you know, and a lot of that comes with, uh, you know, reps, mental reps, um, whatever kind of reps that you want to think about. Um, not necessarily just physically, but mentally too. You know, just getting those those reps in my head so I can go out there and execute and, and get the ball out of my hand if something's not open. Check it down. Um, or throw it away in that case. So. Did you feel more comfortable this week over last week just in terms of running the operation, a clean huddle, getting guys moving and running the operation? I did. I did. I felt, and, and last week I felt pretty comfortable as well. And, and, and this week um, I felt like I took a step um, in comfortability wise, just running the offense, you know, putting some, some touchdown drives together. Um, but, you know, it's just all, you know, it's all about consistency when you want to win games. And, uh, and I think we'll, like I said, we'll keep stacking, learn from what we did good, learn from what we did bad, uh, going into next week, and just continuing to work hard, clean up some of the stuff that you know I need to clean up, listen to the coaches, and uh, just continue to get better. I think that's really my main focus. Um, like you said, execution of the offense, in and out of huddles, um, and then the other stuff will come. So it'll be good. Uh, you know what, man? I got I got juiced up pretty quick when, like, I I needed to go in. So, uh, obviously, like, you know, you want to as the job as a backup quarterback, you want to stay stay ready, whenever your name's called. And, uh, you know, obviously, I don't know if that was like the play that got me juiced up, but, you know, it was. I think throughout that series, the guys, you know, built confidence into me, and and the O line giving me time, running backs, receivers making plays for me, and then I tried to you know do my part as well. It takes all eleven, so it was good. Yeah, um, and, and I'll be honest, man, I'm overcritical on myself. I'm hard on myself, um, and I try to be perfect in everything that I do, practice, game, studying, anything that I'm doing. And so uh, when it's not perfect, like when I throw a pick, I'm, I'm pissed. 
Um, but at the same time, man, just continue to learn the short-term memory and go out there and, 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 and play again. We After the pick, we came out there and running backs, O-line did a good job. We put a drive together and got it went and scored a touchdown. So I do feel like I'm coming along. Um, I'm getting more and more comfortable in the offense. Obviously, uh, you know, a long way to go, and they're doing a great job of coaching me. So I'm um, just trying to do my part, listen, continue to you know, be like a sponge and soak it all up and go out there and perform when my name's called. So. Yeah, I think collectively for the whole offense, you know, um, just to go in there and punch it in a couple of times, you know, get some scores under our belt uh, is definitely, you know, because we're already pretty confident, but just a confidence booster for the guys up front, for the running backs, um, you know, to get the running game going. That's going to open up the pass game even more. Um, you know, just collectively as a group, I thought it was a good job just putting the drive together, selling them down, uh, and going out there and just playing and executing ball. So coming out of the huddle, you know, with, with, with a you know good pace and, and going out there and executing. I thought it was a good job offensively in those two drives. One last thing, Steve. Uh, having Matt as a resource in the room, how, how valuable has that been to your progress? Oh, man, it's been super valuable. Uh, you know, there's not even enough I could say, you know, sitting here on, on how, you know, not even just in the physically going out there and throwing the football in because he's helped me out a bunch right there as well. But just mentally, you know, on the sideline throughout the game and practice. And um, and they pushed me, man. They pushed me mentally uh, to just be the very best situationally in everything that I do as a quarterback because, you know, that's what it takes to play quarterback at this level. And, and I want to do that and do everything that it takes. So Matt's done a, a great job of just helping me, um, accepting me. And I'm grateful for that, him accepting me into the quarterback room and, and helping me out every way he, he's, he has. So he has helped me tremendously. Did Matt or did Arthur have any advice to you when it became clear that it was going to be your game the rest of the way? Uh, you, you know, uh, it was a short span of time, so it was almost just more of like just, you know, kind of go out there and, and play. That's kind of what you practice to do. Um, and then, you know, when you come to the sidelines, just coach up on what, you know, you need to change, fix, you know, what going forward. So, um, you know, it wasn't like a big motivation speech or anything like that, but it was more of just, and I, and I felt prepared that I, I've worked hard enough to, to get to this point. Obviously, there's things to clean up, but, you know, to go out there and, and, and operate the offense and, you know, get a couple of touchdown drives going and get things going. So I felt good about it, though. And, I mean, you guys are professionals. They're professionals, right? But to be within a fingertip of leading a touchdown drive against basically the number one defense of a very good defense, does that give you, you know, just an added bit of confidence in addition to everything you guys were able to do in terms of points? It does. It does. And and, and Miami, man, and, and hats off to them because, you know, they obviously they have a really good defense um, and they make it hard. Um, and so I thought our guys did a great job of just kind of going up to the, you know, facing the battle. And, uh, and you know, it was fun to watch for me kind of as the quarterback watching the O-line push people off the ball and, Running backs run the ball hard. Receivers try to get open and get open, and so uh, it makes things fun for me. You know, it builds my confidence as a quarterback. So it's good, especially when you go against a good team like Miami. Um, obviously, things here and there. I wish we could have gone differently, but like I said, there's a lot to learn from, a lot to improve on, and a lot to be, you know, happy and grateful for as well. If I can ask last one, question. One last question. Uh, you know, just how do you compare maybe where you were around the draft when you know going on draft? I'm not sure if there were feelings of disappointment to now two and a half quarters in a preseason game and having, you know, what hopefully AJ will be back competing with you for the backup job, but having the, uh, a, a real opportunity to win that job. Yeah, um, and, you know, going undrafted is, one, a little disappointing, and but at the same time, um, you know, I, I, I'm a super optimistic person, so I look at it just as a way to just humble myself and just continue to just grind to get better, one. And two, to answer your question, uh, you know, it's just, uh, you, you know, you never want to, I try to figure out how I want to answer this. You, you never want to just look, I don't want to look too far ahead. I mean, I just try to take it day by day. Um, you know, AJ's a great guy to sit here and battle. He makes me better. Iron sharpens iron. And, uh, you know, he does a great job of pushing me every day. So does Matt. And so really just excited to get into the next week. Um, you know, we got Cleveland coming up. Um, that'll be a fun game. My brother plays for Cleveland. So that'll be even more fun. And then, uh, but it'll be good. It'll be good. Just like I said, just a lot to learn from, a lot to build from. And uh, I'm excited for it just to continue to get better. So. Awesome. Thanks, you guys. Thank you, guys.